uncharacteristic for how you played this year. How how do you characterize what happened out there today? Um, you know, number one, we're very disappointed uh, to a man. Um, I don't think anybody saw this this coming. I mean, you got to give Green Bay credit. Uh, they came in there hot, and and this uh, what you saw on film over the past month. Um, you know, they executed and we didn't. Um, so we didn't. You know, we didn't get it done in any of the phases. Um, and then, you know, I, I just, uh, yeah, it's, we're hurting, we're disappointed, um, every man. Thanks, Phil, for Star Telegram. Uh, defensively, it seemed like, you know, <coughs> the, the love seemingly did what he wanted. Can you explain the wide receivers and them really not, no pressure on them at all? Yeah, uh, I think, you know, clearly the, the best thing they did, uh, in my opinion, coming in, was the deep play action game and then you know obviously the the protection was there um he was able to buy time extend plays and uh yeah we just um you know we gave up too many of them like tim kalashaw dallas morning news jerry had said we'll take it game by game regarding your job status do you think this could lead to a coaching change um i think the biggest thing is you know we're we're disappointed. Um, I got a whole whole team in the in the locker rooms. It's that's hurting, and uh, that's you know I, I haven't thought past you know the outcome of this game. Was, was there a point in the game where you just thought your team was flat and couldn't? No, come I wouldn't say we were flat. I, there was energy. There was you know they made more plays than we did. Um, so I mean the big play production was my, we were minus three at halftime, and you know we just you know we didn't, we, didn't, we didn't make enough. You know we didn't get didn't get the stops and. You know, didn't, didn't you know didn't get it to a two-score game quick enough, but um, so you know turnovers, you know all the things we did. Like I said, uh, we we didn't uh, we did not play to to our to our capabilities um, in the way we've been playing, particularly at home, uh, and we're disappointed. Dave, I just two real quick. What? Like you say, given the unexpected nature of this, what was your message to the the team afterwards? Everything. Um, you know, just you know, I, I think, you know, just express the, you know, the reality of where we are. I mean, this 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 is a this is a hurtful loss. Um, you know, we 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 put ourselves in position to play a home playoff game. You know, it was a great we had a great opportunity. Um, felt really good about the week of preparation. You know, so. Uh, we thought we matched up well, uh, but you know we didn't. We didn't. We clearly picked a we picked the wrong day to, uh, to have a bad day. So that Dak had been playing at such a high level for such an extended period. Him and CD, especially, just about his game and, and start tonight just seemed to be. Well, I, I think like anything, you're always trying to get you know your quarterback into a rhythm. Uh, you know, it took a little longer than than you know I, I would have liked um so and you know and then we then we had the two turnovers that factored into points um you know we didn't you know we didn't slow them down on defense you know and, and you know once again you know we had, we had some we did some good things on in the return game but uh like i said there's um you know we didn't get it we didn't get it done in any of the phases all right thank you mike thank you All right, so the final word of the season there for Mike McCarthy, but is it his final word as head coach of the Dallas Cowboys? Only time will tell. Make the case for Mike McCarthy being the head coach week one next season of the Dallas Cowboys. Well, the offense that we saw this year with him calling plays was prolific, was real good offense, right? The, the Dak Prescott that we watched this season was not the same guy that we saw a year ago that led the league in interceptions. He's more, he was smarter with the football, cleaner, efficient, accurate, all of the above. And the offense today scored 30-plus points. One would say, yes, Dak Pres Prescott threw a pick six, but the defense, especially at home, was a dominant force, a mm -hmm. dominant unit. They allowed 41 points. And they allow points early in this ball game. When you talk about the early interception that happened in the red zone, okay, of course that's one thing, but you still have a little piece of blade of glass to defend. They did not at all. So my argument for Mike McCarthy is this. If you're going to fire Mike McCarthy, as I stated earlier, you have to tell me and you have to make all of us a believer that the guy you're bringing in is better mm -hmm. than Mike McCarthy. Because if you don't have a better option, 12 and 5 for most organizations, that's not a bad thing. The expectations are super high, deserving so for the Cowboys. But for him to be able to lead this team to 12 wins, three straight seasons, 
And to get into a spot in the playoffs, that's what you want. Yeah. Now, it's the other alternative as well. Well, that's it. Right? It's all underlined by the idea and the caliber of coach that's currently available. And that's the thing. They're the greatest of all time. Bill Belichick. A Super right? Bowl head coach in Pete Carroll. Pete Carroll. Mike Vrabel, one of the young, up-and-coming, yes. defensive-minded, patriot way. You might even have a Michigan head coach in looking Hobart. for a job yep. next week. So it's going to be interesting to see what Jerry Jones does. He, he will be on that phone to find out who he can get. Yeah. Are and those it, all names you would take? in lieu of Mike McCarthy? I think so. See, my issue with Mike McCarthy, when I'm watching the game from afar as a fan, situational moments, mm -hmm. he's not at his best. Utilizing the clock the right way, he's not at his best, right? We didn't really see that surface in today's matchup because they were behind. If you go back and remember and watching that Detroit Lions game, yes, mm -hmm. they won, but the Detroit Lions had an opportunity to win that ball game based on the critical moments not handled at his best in situational moments for the Dallas Cowboys. That's my concern with Mike McCarthy. And also, too, he's, as a play caller, he's one-dimensional. He loves throwing the football. He loves throwing the football. It might look good and work in regular season play, but in postseason play, you got to find a way to establish a sense of balance. Mm -hmm. So there, will, there, are, there are quality names, as Joe mentioned, that could be available if the Cowboys were to part ways with Mike McCarthy. But would you feel, would, do you feel those names would be better? a better option than Mike McCarthy. Well, now, Bill Belichick, Pete yeah. Carroll, yeah. Vrabel. We'll have a conversation. Yeah. yeah. I agree with you. The top, the first two now, the issue would be personnel. How involved would that new coach be when it comes to personnel? Mm -hmm. Pete Carroll's a Super Bowl winning coach just like Mike McCarthy. Would he come into a situation with the Dallas Cowboys and say, you know what? You guys, the Joneses, you handle the personnel situation. I just coach ball. If Bill Belichick came, Will Bill Belichick be okay with that? Because remember, for such a long time, he's been like the GM for the New England Patriots. Didn't do a good job, by the way. Didn't do a good job. GM got the coach fired. No question. <laughs> so will Bill come into this situation and say, you know what, you guys can handle it. Keep me informed about what's going on personnel-wise. I coach ball. And if Harbaugh wanted to come, I think Harbaugh's the type of coach you say you, whatever you want to do. But I don't know if the Joneses would be willing to do that. Harbaugh has shown the ability to bring life into organizations. The Cowboys have life. That body is moving around. They just got to find someone that can get that body across the finish line. I'll tell you this much. There are franchises in LA, Atlanta, a couple other spots. And no, stick with Mike McCarthy because this is the biggest mouth to feed if Mike McCarthy is not the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. We'll see what Jerry Jones and management does in Dallas. But the season again comes to a close, a one and done against the Green Bay Packers. More coming on HQ. Jordan Love in his first playoff start dazzles. We'll hear from him post game.